All right, it is National Stress Awareness Month, and we're doing all we can to keep our day-to-day -day responsibilities from overwhelming us. We're trying. Luckily, we have Anita McDonald and Jorg Sieber in-house to give us their expert plan that will help make our lives a little easier. How is it that we are 10 times busier than our parents were? Why is that? I mean, it doesn't it seem that we run around like crazy and our parents, we had so much downtime and so much family time at home, it seems that our lives have changed so much. Well, it has. It's a lot more complicated than what it was. I mean, most families have two careers and, and that that's why yeah. you really have to step back and make sure that you're handling that and doing the things you need to do to reduce the stress. And I think that's where we probably need to start. Your stress is just not going to magic dissipate and one day you wake up and everything's back to normal you really have to sit down and make a plan to absolutely. alleviate some of the pressure you're putting on yourselves yes. absolutely if you if you think about the amount of things that we all have to do that we all need to take care of on a daily basis it's very important to prioritize we only have 24 hours in a day we have seven days a week right and whatever we put in that time determines our stress level so what's the first thing we should do where do we start well, I want to say one of the first things you need to do is step back and think about, are you doing what you love? So what you find is that a lot of people are just going around doing things, but step back and think about, is your career, is your family, is it all aligned? Are you doing what you love? This is, was this your plan when you went to start in your career or when you wanted to start your family? Is this what makes you happy? Right. Ooh, that's a hard question sometimes. Uh, drop unnecessary activities. This is really tough, too, because sometimes you feel like they're all necessary. <laughs> <laughs> well, take a look at time, for example. If, if you take the analogy of having a glass jar, that's inside in this glass jar is all the time that you have throughout the day. And um, you have important activities, not so important, and time wasters. And you have to fill this glass jar with all these activities. So um, let's say important activities are big, st big stones, then small stones and sand are time wasters. So if you start filling your jar with sand first, there's no more space for the big activities. So start putting in the, fir the big activities, the big rocks first, then the small stones, and then finally you have a little bit of time, a little bit of space left for sand. And then don't try to shove big stones where they don't fit or <laughs> other stones in between. Yes. Yes. <laughs> because I think that's what we end up doing. The 80-20 rule applies. You know, it's 20% of what we're doing gives us the most value. Right. So make sure you're looking really? at what you are doing, your task list. Pick the most important things first. And, and then, and again, and prioritize. Okay, um, protect your private time. I think, um, as I talk to many different parents just day to day, uh, we feel that a lot of the extracurricular activities, unless we bring them on or take them on ourselves, they're mm -hmm. just not going to happen because we don't have the same things that are offered to our kids that were offered to us. So all of that eats away at that family time, and you're going from one activity to another. But you really need to schedule that family time in. Absolutely. You need the family time and you need the for you time. You yeah. need to take that. And the more that you have, you're diligent about protecting that time, the more that you're more effective when you are out there being everything to everybody. So really? it's really Schedule important. that time. Yeah. Yes. Don't give it up. Don't mm -hmm. give it up. Don't let yourself talk yourself into one more activity squeezed Absolutely. in before the family time or after the family time. Just dedicate that right. chunk of time and you'll be happier for it, I'm sure. Except help to balance your life. A lot of us feel like we need to do it all. Mm. Get a coach. Get, get a life coach or a business coach. If you're a busy executive or a business owner, get a business coach. That's what we at Action Coach San Diego actually do. We help executives and business owners prioritize, set plans, set goals, hold them accountable to achieving this. And a life coach does a similar thing with a private person. So any very successful person doesn't do it alone. All by themselves. They have a team. They have a good team that's helping them either at home or a good team that's helping them in the executive world or in their business. So accept the help and you'll get to where you want to go. Ooh, and right. you'll have the support and you won't be as frazzled and crazy. And, and, and plan fun and relaxation. Don't forget to plan the fun things. Absolutely. I mean, you know, in do that annual plan and make sure you have that vacation time to make sure you're you're planning that vacation time. And maybe it is social things with your friends. Make sure that you have allocated the right time to have that balance in your life. Make sure you're a happier person. 
Absolutely. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, well, that is my, I will do this. I will do this. De-stress a little bit. Thank you so much. And of course, right. anyone who would like to contact you, they can through our website. I think we've linked to yours, uh, fox6.com. Thank you so much Please, for being here. Thank you. <laughs>